fans of high quality entertainment. We are going to talk about Sparks. We saw them in concert two days ago in Toronto at the Queen Elizabeth Theatre. Uh, Molly's going to say a few words too. <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to say that uh, the first time I saw Sparks, I, I've been a fan since 1974, and the first time I saw them was in 1982, 40 years ago, in Toronto, at the Ilma Combo, and uh, that's my cats. Uh, and then I didn't see them for 31 years, and I saw them on their solo tour at Lee's Palace in 2013, and then I saw them with Franz Ferdinand uh, when they collaborated in the band FFS, in Toronto in 2015 and like I said I just saw them again with Molly Molly's first time experiencing Sparks live <laughs> and uh, so for me the experience for, first of all I want to say that uh, when I was there uh, a few people came up to me and you know because of my YouTube channel and uh, one of them was was Chris, was the other guy's name Joseph? Or? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. I apologize, but I was overwhelmed with all of the people coming up to me. Uh, no, and, and I remember young, one young person saying that, uh, that I had shown him music on my channel and he thanked me and he was at the Sparks concert. So obviously uh, I influenced him in a good way, hopefully. And anyway, my own experience being there was, first of all, I was so happy to be with you, you know, for you to experience it. She's not, she doesn't know Sparks music like I do, but uh, I'll just say that, you know, I, I, it was emotional for me because, you know, they've been in my life for almost 50 years and <laughs> just like their career that's had its ups and downs and Thanks to Edgar Wright and the fine documentary, The Sparks Brothers, it's brought more fans on board, along with, you know, me on my YouTube channel talking about Sparks, not thinking anybody's actually going to go and check them out, but they do. And I've received a lot of nice messages about this documentary and about just talking about Sparks. So I would, would like to thank everybody out there that has thanked me or thanked Edgar with this documentary for uh, becoming a fan. Welcome aboard. And thank the Sparks. What? Thank the Sparks. And I think the Sparks. I think the Sparks brothers. They love being called the Sparks brothers. <laughs> what do they call them? The Ron Rail brothers? <laughs> yeah, at one time you said uh, the, the Russell brothers. The Russell brothers. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I'm just getting used <laughs> So I've got the set list here. And what they performed, I think they performed basically the same set, at least for the North American tour they played. So may, so may we start, Angst in My Pants, Tips for Teens, Under the Table with Her, Get in the Swing, I Married Myself, I Predict, Wonder Girl, Stravinsky's Only Hit, Shopping Mall of Love, Johnny Delusional, We Love Each Other So Much, Edith P.F., P.F., Said It Better Than Me, Lawn Mower, Music That You Can Dance To, The Rhythm Thief, Never Turn Your Back On Mother Earth, When Do I Get To Sing My Way, My Baby's Taking Me Home, The Number One Song In Heaven, This Town Ain't Big Enough For Both Of Us, and then the encore was Suburban Homeboy and all that. And so I just thoroughly, what, what really impressed me live, you know, I, I had seen YouTube videos of them on their tour for this year. But live, Russell's vocals were really impressive. You know, it doesn't compare, you know, watching a YouTube video and then seeing it live. It's quite different. And the whole band was awesome. Stevie Nister on the drums. And you were mentioning, like, that guitarist is really good. It's like, yeah, they, they, they have are. a great band. Yeah. Yeah. So, Molly, your turn to. Tell us what you thought of Sparks. Well, like I, I said, I, there's been kind of 
for a pu while. Pushing you. Pushing me on them. Well, seriously. Well, you do with a lot of music, and yeah. I kind of resist because I'm just not a, into music like you are. Yeah. Which is this, my issue, right? <laughs> but um, the documentary, right? We watched yeah. a lot of that, so I was interested. You watched some of it. Yeah. You liked no, it. You did like it. it. Yeah, yeah. But we watched it the night before, so going there and kind of thinking about all the, you know, things we watched in the documentary and knowing how excited you were to go yeah. and see them, right? It was just, it was just kind of overwhelming to see. And I, like I said to you, I said, hearing it live, yeah. now that we've listened again to the songs afterwards, I appreciate them more after. Yeah, I was even and, playing them today. And, you, yeah, and you, like, like every song you play, oh, I like that one. I like that one. I like that one, yeah, yeah. Because it's like, you know, watching it live was... And watching you watch them, right? Yeah. It was all kind of overwhelming for me too, because I'm thinking how excited you were. And I said, I said to Larry, I looked over at you lots of times in the concert, and yeah. the joy on Larry's face. Yeah. Right? And just, you know, just seeing them again, right? You were just so you. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> it's it's like no, it's like I don't know. It's like you know I know them, right? They don't necessarily know me. But it's like I'm connected to them as people. You know, I know them, not personally, but I know them. You know, I know their history pretty well. And I'm just, you know, uh, really proud of them. You know, well, like, yeah. and all, you know, the big sold out show and everything. And I mean, like I said to you too, I said I felt guilty for taking a, a, a ticket from someone I thought yeah. that might really, you know, would really, really love to see them. Yeah. I thought, I hope I appreciate them enough. And yeah. you said to me too, yeah. you're going to love, you're going to love yeah, it. Yeah, I, like I, I gonna, knew. <laughs> yeah, and I thought, okay, I'm going to trust that. They're just Not yeah. trust, I knew I would enjoy yeah. it, but yeah. I didn't know I would enjoy it as much as I did. Yeah. And so I thought, I'm just going to you know, enjoy it with you too, because I was so glad that you were able to go and see them and and how happy you were for it because you were just so so happy to see them. you were and i was happy to see you happy you, and then actually, they were so good and yeah. it was just like i thought okay i'm just gonna enjoy it and yeah. not feel like and there was everyone in the audience too i was just looking at them a lot yeah. through the concert thinking like man these people really you know are like you because yeah. you were up and dancing and, yeah and just the appreciation for what yeah you know you might have heard me go woo like 50 times during the concert. <laughs> well, then it got built up too. Like we said, the beginning yeah. was kind of like everyone was kind yeah. of drunk. And then yeah. as the concert went on... It's it a Canadian audience. Really... We're kind of mellow. But yeah, by the end, everybody was up on their feet. And, and towards the stage. And it was, yeah. yeah. It was really interesting. Like it was just... Yeah. And uh, mentioning the songs, I, I, some of the songs you love, I think your, your favorite you said was... Uh... All That. Yeah, all that. So the last star, song. I love yeah. that. But my favorite was was yeah. Ron doing uh, "Shopping Mall of Love." <laughs> I love. And he goes, "Yeah." <laughs> what was my favorite? Thing, yeah. yeah, and the. Oh, yeah. But when we were look, listening to them again this morning, yeah. I was like, "Oh, I like that one. Yeah. I like that one. Yeah. I like that one." So it was. But there was one I said that I was kind of lost in. Yeah, and it was. I think it was. Uh, uh, the, Edith yeah. P.F. No, 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 no. I knew that one. Hmm. No, I knew that one. I think you think it the was... The Rhythm Thief, maybe, huh? No, I... No. <laughs> We're going to argue Well, it was again. one of them, but that I was kind of zoning off, and I was starting yeah. to think about... The band the documentary members. ...and the band members, and there was one also song that I'm thinking, man, that guitarist is really good, yeah. actually, and that keyboardist, yeah. he's singing, and, you know, you just start yeah. thinking I was... Because I was so focused on Russell and Ron, yeah. you know, watching them perform together, yeah. and then thinking, wait a minute, there's a really great band behind them yeah. that's, you know, I, yeah. that I wasn't... Thinking, well, you'd see them. Cause Prop, so... Props to the band. Yeah. Stevie Nister is, we follow each other on Instagram. Hi, Stevie. And, and you Superman, do too. Right? Yeah, he was Superman. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the he whole band great. is just oh, amazing. Yeah. yeah. And they were actually short one guitars, but it still sounded very full. And. Uh, oh, I wouldn't have noticed. Yeah, I would. Yeah. How would I? Well, how would yeah. I know? But. I, we, I said he was the good looking one on the. <laughs> Said, who's that? I'll document him. Like, he's What's his name? I'll follow him on Instagram. And then he's not there. And then she <laughs> and she unfollows me. I, uh, what's going on here? Uh, so, what did you think of uh, Russell's vocals? 
I thought they were just as good as anything you've yeah. shown me from yeah. the past. Like, yes. I really didn't even think because people have said, "Oh, he still has his vocals." Yeah, thinking, well, yeah I, I wouldn't. Yeah, I, I figured he, he would sing well, but it was like I said, I was kind of like, "Oh my God, he's got his vocals are strong." Like, <laughs> yeah, I just yeah. don't even think of. I never thought that they'd be weak. You know, yeah. like I just and you've shown me some, you know, of their tour this time. Yeah. You know, and, and obviously it was great there too, but. It was also the crowd too. I said yeah. to you, I said there was so, you know, eclectic and different yeah. ages and and different types of old and young. Yeah, but yeah. also like I kept saying, like, look, look at their outfit. Like, who are they? Like, they're like, oh, you know, they're just really cool people that were there too, yeah. right? Really creative and people who really appreciated the music a lot. Yeah. So it was kind of like kind of inspiring that way. I thought, well, I guess I should trust you and your music a little bit yes. more, right, honey? And yes. don't fight it. And sometimes. and we'll watch. <laughs> The Sparks documentary again, all the way through, right, honey? <laughs> I used to go. He would say, "Let's watch something." I go, "Oh, this, okay, all right, we'll watch it, right?" <laughs> yeah. Or I want to show you something. I'm like, oh, okay. It's like enforcing her, but but well, even the first time, she, she is enjoying it. Like, uh, I know I fight it. And then it's I just that you it. don't have the interest I do. Yeah. But now you do. So, least. like when you said you will enjoy it, I thought, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna trust you and yeah. Know. But there's been some Beatles movies I've watched and things. I'm not. I'm not crazy about. It. Yeah, <laughs> That's I know. Not from from past, but yeah. But but you're more curious about their about their life now and their history. Yeah. Well, like I said, them. I would. Yeah. It was. I'd kind of zone out and think of Ron's car that he drives and where he lives and how they go how for they their work. walks every day and how they you know, and they work together and yeah. and just kind of. I, and I was asking you a bunch of questions that you wouldn't even know. I said, or, you know. Just questions about their life and who they are and stuff. It's interesting. That's really none of my business. <laughs> you don't. Know, you, know, you care more about music. I'm like, oh, yeah. where, where are they staying and what do they do? what yeah. do they eat and what do they yeah what do they like? Yeah. yeah. So. And I also was thinking about their outfits too, right? Because he wears the same. They wear the same outfits every yeah concert, right? Yeah. Like, does, does he just like, have the one outfit? Yeah, or how many pairs of shoes of those does he have? I don't know those. How comfortable those, those shoes? Because he's dancing around, right? Yeah. He's bouncing around. Yeah, two he hours. Was. They played almost two hours, and like uh, Russell's a bit older than me, and I I couldn't do that for two hours, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, I was in the women's washroom after, and a bunch of women were saying like, "I'm tired after watching that." How is he? And I'm thinking, to you, I said, "Well, they're doing like." that night after night after night and then yeah. uh, now they're traveling to what they called the old country yeah right? the old back country. to europe now so yeah. i'm thinking like oh they just like, have the energy right yeah but it was just like i said emotional for me i was just you know very like i think you you i didn't know that but you took video of me when they were doing uh, my baby's taking me home <laughs> so maybe i'll play it at the end <laughs> well, you were just so happy through it, like singing yeah. along and, and woohooing and clapping and waving. And yeah. then I said to Larry when we got back after, I said, I think Ron was looking at you. Yeah, you know, I think he was. Yeah. And Larry's, <laughs> <laughs> I think he was too. I think you really did because you were really thinking connected, right? Yeah. And and then they went, you know, Ron went to each side and was hugging, yeah, you know, yeah, hugging yeah. the audience. And they they were very moved know. by the reception, so which isn't I think surprising. So too, that their last. North American. It's like you were saying, it's like they didn't want to leave the stage. <laughs> well, they didn't. They didn't rush off. And yeah. They came back for their encore, but then they still didn't rush off. Yeah. It was like they were, yeah. They were still on the stage when everybody had gone home. It's... Well, someone gave them a painting at the end. Yeah. Too, right? yeah. You know, so it's, and yeah. It was, and then you had a lot of people on the way out too. Canadian stud muffin. Yeah, Canadians. My name's Larry. But, you know, you were you were saying too that the the one young person that came up to me, you felt like he wanted to maybe he would have liked to have talked to me more, but he didn't want to bother me. It's like it's okay, just come up and talk, like, and it's not the ego thing. It's a, it's the music connection with Sparks or you know other bands that we both like. And I love just you know when I do a video and I talk about Sparks or whatever, I, I'm not really thinking somebody's actually going to become a fan of them. But I've had dozens and dozens of messages of people thanking me. So, uh, yeah. I don't see how anyone who couldn't be a yeah. fan. You yeah. know, how you could dislike You got to love their... Oh, yeah. And people have asked me, well, where, where do I start, right? And uh, 
just even that playlist that that yeah that playlist but the, the best way to start is just watch this documentary and I would say this even if you don't like the music you're you should still be interested in their life and just never giving up the, mm -hmm. the basic story is don't give up they're very creative people and you know they, they've just never given up through all the ups and downs of life and, and as, brother, still, as brothers too and yeah. inspiring and, and things yeah. some like, brothers in rock music do not get along i don't know if you know that or not and i wasn't aware of sort of the humor of them yeah you know i didn't think that when i heard songs i wasn't even thinking about it then as you exposed yeah. me to it, I, th I think you seen. you've even listened to like some of the lyrics when they're performing live like that you might have not really well, even the lawnmower song, right? Yeah, I'm the lawnmower. I push you on like, my like, lawnmower. Some, are these humor? I'm like, what am I? You know, there's some like. <laughs> it's a song I'm about a he... person being obsessed with his lawn and cutting grass. Yeah, it's a love song. And Ron too. He's just like to look at him and just laugh. Yeah. yeah. Like I know, <laughs> yeah, I'm missing the deepness, but I'm just like, he's just so funny. Yeah. Yeah. It's like yeah. a. And they love each other so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's about it. Anything else to add? No, but they're hoping to come back to Toronto. And well, I hope they come back there. to Toronto. And yeah, they have a new album coming out and they're working on another musical. So they're and always they said, busy. Yeah, during the pandemic, they were able to work on another album, right? Yeah. So that was... Yeah. But it was really... Yeah. Yeah. It was a really good time. It'll give you a lot to think about for a while too, right? Yeah. <laughs> it was overwhelming. And you got a poster? And, and a I got a poster and this very nice t-shirt. And we got a beer and a water for $21. <laughs> that, that's for our next review. So anyway, thanks everybody. And like I said, if you don't know anything about Sparks, I, you know, because it's difficult because they do s such a variety of music, just watch the documentary. It's on Netflix everywhere, I believe. And it this, is entertaining and yeah. funny. And this Blu-ray is really worth it because it's got a, it's got a live concert and lots and lots of bonus footage. So, highly recommend it. Bye. Bye Ron and Russell. <laughs> Bye Ron and Russell. And Edgar. <laughs> and Stevie. Yeah. Stevie. <laughs> My babe's taking me home. My babe's taking me home. My babe's taking me home. <laughs> now put that clip in there. Yeah. <laughs> Woo!